Hello, this is Carrie Ann and I have another video for you today. Today I will be doing a first impressions video of the Derwent Color Soft pencils. Now usually I don't do these first impressions videos. I'll just give you guys the full review. Um, but in this case, um, I just wanted to get it out before Christmas and it was kind of starting to get close to the point of no return. So um, I decided to just give you guys my very first impressions of these pencils. Um, normally I will have like a full comparison with other brands. I'll have a completed coloring page and I'll have a whole bunch of stuff. In this case, we're just going to do a basic summary of the product. And then at the end of the product, um, I'll do a quick review of this, uh, pencil case, which I got from Blackwing. Um, and they were very kind enough to send these to me for review. And, um, I will talk about this, um, towards the end, uh, because I really like this. And it looks small, but these do fit all 24 pencils. And I and I was really, really impressed by that. Anyway, so um, so what we have here, these are the Derwent Color Soft pencils. They do come in a variety of packages uh, as well as open stock. And again, when I do the full review, I'll have all of that available. Um, the main thing I wanted to talk to you about is these are really fun soft pencils. I was actually really impressed by them. Um, I have seen some reviews online that were, shall we say, not that favorable of them, but I found that they were really enjoyable to work with and they created really lovely, fun images. Um, the biggest problem that I had is actually the variety of colors that I got in here. Um, I was not all that happy with the 24 variety. Um, there's a lot of various shades of tan, brown, and peach. And I suppose that these were intended to be, um, you know, portrait colors, um, skin tones, and various sorts. But, you know, I've never found Derwent to do a really good job with the kinds of colors that I would use for, um, for my skin tone. Um, probably could mix these two, but it would give me too much of a red color and I'd have to do some erasing to get it to be right. Um, and uh, that's probably ultimately what I'll do in the final review. But overall, I found that these were, the pencils themselves were actually fine. Um, I'm not sure what the issue was. I mean, I guess some people want to create things that are photorealistic, but you know, not to be trifling, but you know, if I want to make something photorealistic, I have a perfectly good camera. See that that's not necessary. I didn't need to say that. Um, I'm not really sorry I said it, but I didn't need to do that. Um, anyway, um, so I really like, um, you guys know me, I don't really use blenders that often. Um, at most, I will use a burnisher or a blender pencil, and I really like this sort of traditional colored pencil look, and these are really good for that. Um, because the pencils are softer, they do sort of run down a little bit more, and that's one thing we can actually talk about in a little bit more detail. Uh, usually when pencils are softer, and these are among the softest ones that I have tried, these are, um, I haven't done a side-by-side -side with the Prismacolor, but they reminded me more of the Prismacolor in terms of the softness. And in fact, I think these are a good option if you like the Prismacolor, but you want something that has a little bit um, better quality. So you and can I see the colors here. You can see the colors here. I actually have not had any breakages at all. What you see in the going down of the pencils, that's all from actual pencil use. Um, and you can see these sort of these various brown, similar skin tone colors aren't as more as well used as these. And that's something that you will get with softer pencils is that they will, they'll go down faster. And that's not something that is a fault of the pencil um it never really it never is it's just the nature of having soft pencils and hopefully i can get a chance to show you the other thing is because the pencils are so soft these are really good for fast loose sketching so if you want to make this is a this was like a five minute you know sketch it wasn't it didn't take me very long at all this was a super quick sketch of a cat food can um, and because it was so quick, it was not that well done. But um, I do want to show you that the lay down is really very smooth. You see how I'm holding this very light touch and it's still giving me a lot of color. And that's something that you will see with um, 
softer pencils, they tend to deposit more color quickly uh, because of the soft nature of the pencil themselves, the tooth of the paper. And I've talked about this before, um, the way, hold on, I'm trying, I'm doing this. is not exactly right, but the way that color pencil works is that as you move across, it picks up the tooth of the pencil. And when you have a sharper pencil, um, it's easier to get further down into these little crevices. Um, but when you have a softer pencil like this, um, even if it's as the point starts to go down, it then becomes a little bit more difficult to get into the, the tooth of the paper without burnishing. And that's why you get these uh, sort of white spots a lot. Um, and these pencils will give you um, that white spots that I know some people don't like. So if you don't really like that um, colored pencil, you know, committing the crime of actually looking like colored pencil, um, then these might not be for you. Um, I would recommend something that's a little bit harder um, and something that has, um, you know, that's a little bit more um, higher end, maybe something like the uh, polychromos is probably what I would recommend. Um, but these are really, really fun pencils. And I actually found one of the things that I really liked about these pencils is for the most part, I sort of color, you know, like at a slight angle, but these pencils are really good if you like to go on the side and they do a really great job of just depositing a lot of color on the side. And because they're so soft, they give you so much color on the side like that. So I really like these and that's part of the reason why um, they worked so well for sketches. I was able to really get in here. Um, they did layer, but as you can see, um, these would not be my first choice if I had to do a ton of layers. If I had to do a ton of layers, I would probably go with something else. Um, it just was not as good at sort of blending layers together as something like the polychromos. Um, but again, if you're doing adult coloring, if you're doing crafting and you just wanna work, you know, relatively quickly, um, these are really good, especially if you don't do a lot of layers. Um, these are just really fun pencils. And I might actually, you know, um, a lot of times I review pencils and I don't use them again as much as I would like. But these are probably going to be pencils that I'll use relatively often um, because they work up so quickly that this is great for taking your practice sketch. Um, and these might actually be um, a set that I take to travel with me since they work up so quickly. I could be out in the field and I can just start, you know, sketching really quickly and I can just start doing that. Now, the flip side is because they are so soft. Um, let me get this indigo again because they are so soft again um, You can see that the point has already gone down quite a bit It was a, pretty much a freshly sharpened lead and you can see that it's shown where I've turned it So if you want to have a sharp point, you're going to end up sharpening this pencil a lot um, Like I said, I would not recommend these if you want to do a lot of really really fine detail um, let me See if I can try to show you my little fine detail trees that are not as like smooth um, as they would be with some of the other pencils. These are more abstract, more loose pencils, um, uh, more loose trees, and that's fine. I don't mind that, but like I said, if you want something that's more precise, um, I'm not sure that I would recommend these. Um, having said that, um, I think that's it for the first impressions. Um, also, people have been lately, I don't know if people just like are letting themselves go. They've been giving me a lot of attitude about my, eh, let's say, commentary on the side. Let's say off topic, men, uh, off topic like mentions and topics. Like, you know, like people need to relax. Like, this is a free video that I'm doing on YouTube. Like, if you want something that's like a professional tutorial, um, this might not be the channel for you. Uh, the virtual instruction has a lot of really great formal, you know, instruction videos. And if you want that sort of more straight to the point, that might be the place for you. Um, I would not say that this is the place for you if you are in a rush and you want to get straight to the point. All right. So, <laughs> um, having said that, that was a little off topic, um, but it needed to be said. Oh, also, um, and also somebody was like, oh, you should write notes and be like, well, first of all, mind your business. Cause I ain't ask you what you think. Number two, I have notes for all my videos. Um, I just set them aside and then I go with, you know, like I do my notes as like a, 
like a plan, you know, and then like I set them aside. This is supposed to be like an adult conversation. We go back and forth and, you know, like whatever. So anyway, so that's the other thing that I'm not sure if I mentioned. These are a great option if you want the Prismacolors. If you want something as soft as the Prismacolor with a little bit less drama. Anyway, so now for the second part of the video, which I would normally pause for, but in this case, I'm having so much fun that I don't think I need to pause. Um, like I said, these were sent to me by Blackwing. Oh, and I don't know if I mentioned how I acquired these. Um, I actually purchased these on Amazon. They were like, I want to say like $18 um, is what they were. And they were really good, actually, for $18. Um, I've seen them usually for considerably more. Um, but I, when I saw them for 18, I think it was Black Friday. I just picked them up and I really have been super happy with them, um, since I picked them up for those $18. Anyway, so, um, Blackwing sent me these and this is just such, uh, now the only thing is I d don't really know if you guys would like me to do an extended review on this because essentially what this is, is this is a, as you can see, this is a like a wax canvas, not a coated canvas, I'm sorry, a wax canvas um, with a little leather tab. And uh, this is like a really nice high quality zipper. This is like not an inexpensive little pocket pencil case, but what I like about this is, you know, um, you have your tin, let's say you have your tin of 24. Now these are supposed to hold 12 of, 24, I'm sorry, of the Blackwing pencils. Um, but let me show you, I think that they will hold considerably more um, colored pencils because I think the colored pencils are slightly smaller or not as long. Um, and so this will hold more than the 24 that is advertised. As you can see, you can totally fit a sharpener in here. Um, I actually took this out to Starbucks a few times and I've made a couple of mini videos, but I, like I said, I'm not sure if you guys want me to do an entire video on this. Um, and I put like an eraser and a sharpener in here and it was a lot of fun. Um, so if you're looking for a stocking stuffer, um, this is a really nice stocking stuffer if you, and also you can fit the complete unsharpened, um, black wing pencil in here, uh, which I was supposed to have, but I didn't have with me, but it fits in there just fine. Um, and I think they said it fits 24 unsharpened pencils, but you can see it fits quite a bit more, um, sharpened colored pencils. You almost never want to have unsharpened colored pencils anyway. So it fits quite a bit more colored pencils. Now, um, I think if I was using these, um, often I would probably stick either to polychromos or if I was using something like this, I would just put something a little bit soft here or maybe even an eraser, um, at the very end here just to, you know, just to blunt it a little bit, but this is fine. If your pencils are quality pencils that aren't likely to break, you know, that don't need like industrial protection. I see you Prismacolor. Um, if the pencils don't need industrial protection, th this is fine. I have really enjoyed it. It's really small. So I fit this in my purse and I took this out. Like I said, I took this out to Starbucks a few times. The zipper is a really nice high quality zipper. And I actually really like that because that's part of the reason why I've never had one of these before is that I feel like if the zipper is going to give me drama, I'm not interested. You guys know how I live. I want like as little, you know, dramatics in my life as possible. Um, so I really enjoyed this. They accidentally sent me two of these and I haven't decided what to do with the second one. Um, but I will probably do a giveaway of these. Um, so, uh, just be out on the lookout for that a giveaway of the second one that they accidentally sent me. Um, and I think that's it for this video. So thank you guys so much for watching. Look, look, look. And then, so you can see the size difference. Look at that. Now it is thicker, but it's not so bad. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's not so bad. Um, and I thought I would like that, but now I see the appeal of these little pouches, but I like this one a lot. Um, cause I feel like an eraser, all that other stuff in here. Anyway, so I am almost at 10,000 subscribers. I am super, super close to 10,000 subscribers. I want to thank everybody who's watched, who's uh, subscribed to videos, um, who's followed me. Your support has been amazing. Um, you guys are just really, really the best. And I so appreciate you guys. I'm going to put this back in order because um, you guys know it's going to drive me bonkers to have this out of order. Um, I have a book that I wanted to do a review of and I will do like, uh, again, it probably will be 
a truncated review because again I want to get it out before Christmas but they had like a tutorial of colored pencils in their review and one of the things that drove me bonkers and that I had to I kept having to step away is that in the book itself they had the colors all like this in all sorts of random order and I was just like I couldn't cope I'm like if you're gonna use a tin put them out in order like even when I took my colors out to Starbucks I took them out and I rearranged them in order before I actually started using them like I couldn't use this like this anyway so anyway <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, um, once again, I just want to thank you guys so much for liking, subscribing, um, and for following the channel. Um, I am trying to do something new because it would, it would be re really helpful if I had more, um, Patreon subscribers. So what I'm trying to do is I'll see about adding a little message at the end, a little short message at the end. Cause I sometimes forget to remind people to check out Patreon, to subscribe, to do all that other stuff. So um, I will do, you guys have probably seen them, those little pre-roll videos, um, but you guys will always get the Stewie silent cat video at the end after that. So um, so that's not going away. I just wanted to let you guys know because it's going to start playing right now. Hello, I would like to thank you for watching this video. You made it all the way to the end. If you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. If you would like to support this channel, there are a myriad of ways to do so, including bookmarking my Amazon affiliate links, which doesn't cost you anything, joining Patreon or PayPal in the description down below. Thank you. Have a good day.